What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Reclusive Gamer here, and I'm checking out Skyrim VR Mad Gods Overhaul. And yeah, I added this mod actually. I found it. There's carriages, as you can see, in Skyrim now, which is pretty damn cool. I just started the game, and I'm praying that it won't crash. And I'm curious if I can ride this thing. I probably can. Wait, hold on. Ah, all right. I'm just gonna hang out here. Curious where he goes. Wow, this looks stunning. This is something else. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Skyrim VR mod lists. It's uh, Skyrim VR and steroids for sure. I thought the minimalistic overhaul was good. And I probably said that the last time too. The Imperials will be sorry they got I tend way. to repeat myself a lot. But this mod list, Mad Gods Overhaul, just kind of didn't just come out, but it came out of construction on the Wabajack because it was under construction for a while. But uh, I, yeah, apparently the author has this game up and running again. Or the mod list up and running again. So I re downloaded it from, from the Wabajack website. And yeah, here it is. It's stunning. Stunning. This carriage is pretty slow. Activate carriage. Hmm. I thought it was activated already. Alright, let me get off. But that's that's really cool. I think that really adds some more immersion. The fact that you can uh ride these carriages in the world now. And I added more routes for carriages. So I'll probably be seeing some more carriages on the various roads here in Skyrim. I have the resolution set on max, as usual. And I set the Steam VR settings to 150%. Although the author does mention to leave it at 100%, but I've never been one for listening and following directions, so... Uh, my game crashed already. Or my system crashed. I got a blue screen of death. About 15, 20 minutes ago. So I had to take my... I had to go into the BIOS settings. Hopefully it works. But I took it off XMP profile. And I always have to undervolt my CPU from now on. In order for me to play games. Because I'm having overheating issues. And of course I have the... An Asus board, Z790, and uh, I've been checking out videos like Jay's Two Cents, and he made a video the other day about how disappointed and upset he was that this there's still a persistent problem with Intel CPUs overheating on boards, like on certain Asus boards. I don't know. It's crazy, and it's definitely happening to me. So, yeah, I'm undervolting the CPU, although the author also mentions that to not undervolt, but I have no choice with every game, especially Cyberpunk, I have to undervolt in order to be able to even be able to play any games. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. You didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. 
Sounds like a waste of time. Well, nobody asked you. If you think you're better than we are, go talk to Codlac White Mane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. I'm a coward, so I'm the wrong guy to talk to. Where do you stand on the war? Too confusing for me. Empire, um, Norse, yeah, Talos. I should probably take that who cares? Slen off or Just SLN. Tell me who needs bludgeoning. Who are the companions? The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Another carriage there. Until next time. Oh wow, there's even NPCs that ride on the back of it. That's really cool. Need something? This is really cool. Yeah, this is going to be a main staple of any of my mod lists now. I got to have this this carriage thing. It really makes the world come alive, I think. Mm -hmm. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Get your hold. Climb and back and we'll be off. I'm curious if it actually... Oh dear, once was a hero no, I don't think... That's stupid. It's not gonna... Yeah, it's just gonna <laughs> skip to it. Uh, oh well. If I want to ride a carriage for the... The immersion factor, I can always just hop on... To one of them. To one of the active ones on the road. Eh, it's better than nothing. Okay. Beautiful. We need coin, Ramir, and you're not bringing home any. Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink. What a filthy hall. She's... Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Oh, the architecture here is much different. Ragvar's house. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I like the architecture of these buildings. Yeah, I added cheeky kids or cheeky children. Which reminds me, I'm gonna add killable children as well, just to be, you know, funny. Although I'm not gonna kill any kids, but. Just the thought of being able to put an arrow on these kids' heads with when they uh when they mouth off is kinda funny to me. You smell Until next time. I don't like the AI voice with that um I think it's called Dirt and Blood Mod. NPCs react to your, uh, let's just say your, the state of your Cross hygiene. the bridge at your own oh. peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. What is this place? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. 
The more important question is, why are you here? May I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I want to use the power of ice and fire to destroy any who oppose me. I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. I think we both know I'll succeed here. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. I'll take your test then. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. I don't know that spell. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Okay, this is for the spell. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Erection. Wait, which one does she want? Oh no, I have to read it. Okay. Wait a minute. Where is it? That's weird. I don't see it. No matter what, the college will endure. Oh no. If you can pass the test, then yes. It's been a pleasure. Oh, cast a fear spell. Um, I guess that'll be illusion. Here it is. Okay. Here. Whoa. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. If you can pass the test, then yes. Oh. Excellent. I I yes, just did it. you were going to demonstrate your ability, were you not? It's been a pleasure. Do I have to cast it on somebody, maybe? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna save it first. Cast a fear spell, that's what I did. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. This game's auto-saving. Come here. Help! Someone's being attacked! Help! I did it, I did it! Okay, wait, wait. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Whoa. Where am I? 
I don't work. Oh shit, I don't recognize this area. Oh, floating rocks. Oh, okay. I know where I'm at. Alright, I'm gonna be pissed off if she still doesn't let me pass. Much knowledge lies within the if you can pass the test. Yo! Then yes. Excellent. Oh my god. Yes, you were going to demonstrate your ability, were you not? All right then. Winterhold's glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. If you can pass the test, oh, then dude. Yes. I just did. Until next time. It's not working on her. I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. The college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? All right, then. No matter what, the college will endure. Hello? It's been a pleasure. Oh, man. That's not working. What's this? Remy? Yo, it's not working. Well done indeed. Wait a I think minute. You'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. Are you serious? I had to aim I'll at that. I'll lead you across the bridge. Symbol? That's weird. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please follow me. All right, that made no sense. Maybe I should turn the hot on. All right, let me save it just in case. Oh wow, that looks beautiful. 
That is one cool looking statue. Holy crap. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the college. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Go ahead. Go inside. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Nice. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Can we test out the bed? Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our Laundry. most esteemed wizards. That. That's funny. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in. And if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okie dokie. Thanks to the tour.
Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Hello. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Damn, she's pretty thick. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Safety should be more important than anything. Well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. Oh, don't listen to him. We can do it. Just give us a chance. All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I don't know any ward spells. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Where's the ward spell? Well, it's definitely not mass gangbang target or self. Here it is. That's pretty well, cool. I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Wait, um, uh, hey. Berlina. Berlina? Marion, come, come here. Before you even ask, Dude. yes, I have an ancestry steeped in magic, and no, oh. I don't want to talk about it. I thought you were going to say you have a yes, BBL. I know winter That's wild. used to be full of my kind. And no, I don't care that they're all gone now. Does that cover everything? Uh, I'm sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention. I've just been asked enough questions. I'm here to learn not to explain myself over and over. Forgive me. I didn't mean to assume. Do you know anything about Sarthal? Not really. Just that it's very, very old. It was one of the first cities of men in Tamriel, I think. Do you like it here at the college? So far. If only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be. I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Winterhold used to be full of dark elves. Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. Until next time. Okay, talk to you later.
I wonder if I could pickpocket her. I added a mod that grants easy pickpocketing, so. Alright, let me save it. Oh, wow. Wow, this place looks beautiful. Ah, let me have a seat. Need something? All right, then. Hmm. She doesn't have much to say. Now, let me check out this library. This is beautiful. Ah, floating books. I don't remember ever seeing that. No. Confound it all! This page too! Jesus. That makes five in total. This is unacceptable. You're like screaming in my ear. Is something the matter? Is something the matter? A page from one of these texts, and four others, torn right from the spine. I've consulted with Urog's apprentice girl, and she insisted, rather emphatically, that none of these tomes have been checked out for years. I told the girl that wouldn't preclude a thief from browsing the cases. The librarian's apprentice does seem a bit daft. I don't blame her, though. It's the head librarian's duty to keep more sensitive texts behind sealed doors. Or perhaps it's the fault of the one who trained him. In either case, the result is the same. It is as I feared. Someone has managed to steal key pages from the writings of Tractus. No one will miss a few pages from the works of some nameless scribe. You need to brush up on your history. I'll stop to listen when professors are lecturing. Although I admit, Trevis's voice is its own sleep spell. That's really cool, those floating books this actually cast shadows. This nameless you speak of is Vanis Galarion, founder of the Mages Guild. That old orc must be drinking in the job again. It's unlikely Meade had anything to do with it. Although, I agree with your assessment that spirits of any kind have no place in a library. Those shadows. It's more plausible that Urog failed to see the merit of a controversial theory. And in defiance made the text available to anyone. What controversial theory do you speak of? The majority of scholars are split between two disparate camps. Some believe the texts are worthless scribbles written by a child, one who had yet to grasp the vastness of his destiny. Others contend that the author is not Vanus himself, but a pretender hoping to profit from the mage's name. Both camps, however, are in agreement that the texts themselves have no intellectual merit. So why search for them if scholars believe them worthless? There are some, however, who attribute the text to a different origin. Not the young Trictus, but the elder Vanus Galarian. The theory states that Vanus wrote the text in the guise of his younger self, precisely so that scholars would question its authenticity. By diverting the eyes of those who seek power, it provided an extra layer of security in addition to the cryptic nature of the text itself. What exactly is in these texts? I mentioned the pages from five separate texts were stolen. This is no coincidence. I'm sure you can divine why. Enough of the quizzes, lady. Just tell me. It pains me to see a member of the college struggling with such a simple query. 
Are you so daft as to be unaware that there are five mm -hmm. schools of magic being taught here? No. I apologize. The onus is not on the students, but the professors tasked with curing them of their ignorance. How do the schools of magic relate to the texts? It is well known that Galarian's gifts for magic were quite diverse. He could restore a rose to full bloom not long after burning it aflame. All the while fooling the mind into believing its scent had rotted away. In other words, the spells involve multiple disciplines. The theory goes that Galarian was on the verge of completing five new spells. One for each school. Spells of such tremendous power that even the immortal armies of Manimarco would countenance their fear. Unfortunately, Galarian's obsession with his nemesis deprived him of his patience. Nevertheless, before he embarked on the great battle, he left notes encoded in five works, so others could continue his research. Do you have any idea who stole the pages? I have an inkling. I was able to glean some clues based on my interviews of the residents of Winterhold, who seem far more observant of mages than the faculty. I sent my assistant, Jado Ra, to investigate the matter further, but I fear something grave has befallen him. I'll find out what happened to him. Finally, someone with initiative. I need someone to scout the area he was investigating. Your safety is paramount. If the mage in question is at the site, do not attempt to confront him, even if Jado Ra is in imminent danger. Why not? The Khajiit is a crafty one. He will leave clues behind even in death. Yet if you sacrifice both your lives, both your efforts will be squandered. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. Good. Jado Ra last left for solitude, but it is unlikely he is still there. I would start with the caverns near the shoreline. If you find him, and find him well, he may ask for a passphrase. If he's working undercover, I can see how a passphrase would be useful. Yes. The problem is, I seem to have forgotten that inscrutable Khajiit word he gave me. So in exchange, I ask you to tell him this. Tell him how, when I met him, I mocked his whiskers, how they were as black as an Imperial's hair. Tell him that his eyes are so narrow, that even when he laughs, he looks unhappy. Yes, yeah, sounds kind of racist. So shines as bright as the sun. And if he finds that too sentimental, tell him he was more valuable as a rug. And when he accidentally <laughs> lights his fur on fire, he would no longer be worth anything to anyone. Wow, what a sweetheart. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Do you work here in the library? I'm oh. Mr. Groshev's apprentice. While I've been trained in the library arts, at the moment, my duties are rather limited. Why is that? There isn't much that Master can't handle already. I'm more of an understudy. Someone who takes over if and when he retires. Which, at this rate, will be anywhere between someday and never. You don't think you'll ever be librarian? No, and it's not an exaggeration. I know Master Grosha looks old. Well, because he is. Way too old for an orc. The rumor around here is that he's immortal. As in, he measures time by the era. Which means, unless I start a competing library, I'm stuck being an apprentice forever. 
competing library sounds like a great idea. Well, I meant it as a joke, but if you say so. Any interesting rumors? Just the one. Let's just say Neri and Faralda are having Sergius enchant more than just items. It seems Sergius Tyrannius has much to teach all of us. I don't even want to imagine what kind of lessons you're referring to, so I won't. <laughs> Someone needs a hug. Oh, he's so sweet. Thank you. I want to speak with you. Oh, no. Okay. There's no dialogue. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Is there any college business I can assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. I'm ready for some adventure. Well, all right. Here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Fight well. Look at the sky. Not bad. Okay, it's like morning, I think. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think I'm going to teleport or fast travel back to White Run, I guess. And I'll continue this another time. So far, so good. It hasn't crashed yet. So. Um, oh, I didn't make it there yet, technically. All right, fast travel to Plasia.
can try to sell some stuff. Get some more coin, gold coin, so I can start buying some spells and shit. Damn, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I cannot play this game less than or under 150% on the Steam VR. Like I said, I'm maxed out completely on the Oculus MetaQuest app. And I'm playing at 90 hertz, by the way. So, 90 hertz, and it's. I set the resolution all the way to the right as far as you can go. Okay, here's another carriage. Cool. Oh, there's a and there's another one over there. And it's not just copy and paste, there's different carriages. This one has goods <clears throat> and stuff like lanterns and gold and apples and stuff. That's cool. They're like transport vehicles. Some of them for passengers and some of them for for goods and merchandise. But yeah, I have the resolution all the way maxed out to the right on the MetaQuest. App, and I'm playing at 90 hertz, and 150 percent for the Steam VR. And yeah, I can't, I cannot. Like once you play it like this, it's it's very hard to go back. Uh, I think I know who's sleeping there. It is Sophia, and she, I, she's naked, so I'm not gonna talk to her quite yet. <laughs> a kid you're so stinky oh all right then cat kid i'm 11 years old and i could take you go away ooh, ooh. that is funny need something may your road lead you to warm sands Yeah, there's some frame stutters. Let me try to lower some settings, baby. Um, a shadow distance. Where is it? Tree law distance, maybe. Take it a couple notches down. Actor fade. Object fade. See what happens. Ooh, what's wrong with the face? Come here. You smell. Oh, thank you. May I harvest your crops? May I harvest your crops? Hello? Uh, it's not working. Of course. Mm, I guess some dialogue doesn't work with the Dragon Warren speaks naturally. Looking to do some hunting? Avoid Brittle Shin Pass. It's southeast of here. How can I help a brother Nord? Very cool looking armor. We'll Ugh. pay whatever it takes, Jeez. but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? 
I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Oh, damn. <laughs> you stink. Need any help around the forge? Need any help around the forge? Okay, what is going on here? It's not working for some reason. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Nice. Here's everything you need to make one. S smith Go it ahead. yourself. Okay, I don't know. It's speech recognition is not working all of a sudden. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Got something for just about everybody in here? Give a holler if you have any questions. This looks amazing. I said this in the last video, but I don't care. I'll say it again. Wow. If you have need of hunting supplies, then you've come to the right place. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. Well, what's a dusky treasure like you doing in a hole like this? Yeah, it's not working. Walk always in shadows. Okay. So that you will see your foes before they see you. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Thank you very much for your business. I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. Greetings. Follow me. Yeah, she's the chat bot AI. Oh, I want that axe. But I don't know how to use it, so. Oh, she does fall. How are you? Someone needs a hug. Yeah, she's not having it. No, oh, I got one follower. Hey, you drunken bastard. Come here, Brenwin. I ain't done nothing. Had enough of fish and fowl? Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. <gasps> no, and of course... Oh, this is where the game crashes. <laughs> 